Yeah. Gonna go vintage, you might as well go all the way. Here I got something uh, very nice. Um, not too, too long uh, ago put out by Music Man, which is a very, very unusual the Music Man. I mean, they actually put out a vintage style passive bass um, with two interesting uh, four string, um, you see, pretty, pretty nice, the light on here, pretty nice. Uh, Strictly four string uh, pickup uh, PJ style precision bass uh, here and uh, jazz type down here. If only those four prongs each way. Um, interesting, you know, I got the volume, uh, tone, and bass. That's about it. And uh, really sounds very nice. Big music the man pickup. Uh, I mean, music and headstock there, three and one as you recognize for years. Very nice pickup. Still brings on that very bright sound without the uh, um, you know preamp in. Uh, all, everything uh, basically music man, same style bridge, um, same style lot of nut up here. It uh, fastens the uh, strings in there pretty tightly. Everything um, a music man, except uh, you know the fact that it's passive. A very good sounding passive bass. This is going for 1769. 1769, 5 volt neck, which is usually what a music man does. Um, the music man pickup down here. Uh, both are humbucking pickups. Yeah, man, I, I uh, call it uh, uh, offset humbucking pickups. I don't know exactly what that means. Maybe y'all can tell, tell me what that means. It doesn't mean the same thing as all it has meant, just humbucking. Uh, which is very nice. Uh, you stop the vibration of the strings, you hear absolutely nothing. Except the uh, rumble of the uh, amp here. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm going out of one of my favorite uh, amps. It's the uh, older Ampeg BA amp. Um, this would be a 10, this would be a 210, um, real nice, uh, it's a special 199, I picked the sucker up, <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, Flying off the shelves, well, maybe it would, but then again, not really. You know, people have uh, still have the, that hang up about price with a lot of these instruments. But this is a, you see, the, the shape is a, um, how can I put this? A little bit of jazz, a little bit of music, man. Thing right. So it's like in between one of the two. So it's really nice. Uh, real vintage looking. You know. And, uh, Maple neck on the back and with the, uh, you know, vintage rosewood on for the uh, fingerboard. Uh, this is made of alder. Uh, and uh, what can I say? It's real nice. Would I buy it? Hmm. If I had the money, sure. But uh, not right off the shelf. Um, it's interesting that uh, Ernie Ball Music Man is going this way um, in the months ahead. In the years, we'll see. Uh, if this uh, bass uh, lasts, we'll see if this bass will become part of the, the real Music Man family. We'll see if uh, people will really start buying this. Uh, in my opinion, I don't know, it's a maybe. But other than that, you know, I'm not going to, you know, um, 
you know, put a negative on this bass. This is a nice bass, nice jazz neck. It's really thin up at the top. And um, yeah, so um, if you played this bass, uh, I'd like to hear from you. What do you think? Uh, the uh, Ernie Ball uh, Caprice, this is called. And there was another one. I the name of it. But uh, it's also passive. Uh, it's out two of them. Uh, what's the number of one? I don't see that one around here. Yeah. But um, I'll do a review of that one when I want to get that one. If, if I come into it. I was lucky to get this. I only got one here. Um, so, Ernie Ball Caprice. Um, check it out. See if uh, this is for you. Some of you guys don't like active bases. Some of you guys like passive. So, hey, maybe this is the base for you. And, uh, yeah. Wish I could show you more, that's a, but that's about it. It's a passive bass uh, with really, really nice uh, P and J style pickups on it. Really nice. Uh, so, yeah. so uh, these are Al Nico, by the way, Al Nico pickups. And um, yeah, so until next bass, and uh, I'm gonna try to run down that other bass, that other style they have out. Like I forget, I forget the name was on the tip of my tongue. I forgot. But this is the Caprice. So um, we'll get back with you until next bass. Probably that bass. See ya.